Okay guys, welcome to tutorial number 12 and in this video, let us have a look at the default function parameters in ES2015. Now in ES5 or JavaScript, when a parameter is not specified for a function during its call, then the value would be undefined. Let's look at an example. Let me create a simple function that get value is equal to function. This takes value and just logs value. So console console.log value. Now let's call this function without specifying an argument. So let me save this and have a look at our browser. It says undefined. Now, but now in ES2015, we can set default values for parameters in parentheses. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. First thing I'm going to do is value is equal to 10. So we can specify a default value to a parameter using assignment operator. So what this implies is that if you call this function with a value, it is going to log the value. If you don't call it with a value, then it is going to log 10 every single time. So let's call get value again, but this time with a value 10. Okay, let me change it to 20 because it might seem confusing. So 10 and 20, let's save this, 10 and 20. So there was no parameter specified, there was no argu argument specified, it's going to take the default value of 10. If an argument is specified, it is going to take that value and behave as it would do normally. So 20 would be displayed on the console. Now let us have a look at the function with two parameters. So let me create bonus and this is going to be equal to 5 and let's call get value 20 let's also call get value with 20 and let's give a bonus of 30 and let's also call get value with the first parameter undefined and the second parameter 30. now let's see how the output for these functions work we got the output let's see how this works Okay, we also are going to log console value plus bonus. Okay, so the first one, get value without any argument. Now when no argument is specified, both parameters, they're going to take their default values. So 10 and five. So 10 plus five is 15, which is what we are going to see here in our console 15. The second one, get value of 20. So we have specified a value for our first parameter so value is going to be 20, but bonus, there is, no para, there is no argument over here. So bonus is going to take the default value of five. So 20 plus five, which is 25 over here in our console. And third one, 20 comma 30. So we are specifying both our parameters. So default values do not come into picture at all. So value plus bonus is going to be 20 plus 30 and 50. That's correct. And finally, we call the first parameter with undefined and the second parameter with 30. So when this is undefined, it is going to take the default value. So 10 plus 30, which is going to be 40 over here. So when you want to, when you don't want to specify a parameter on the right hand side, you can just ignore it. However, if you have to specify or if you don't want to specify a parameter that comes initially or on the left hand side, you need to specify it as undefined. Now, let's tweak our parameters. Let me change bonus equal to five with bonus is equal to value times 0.1. Let me save this and see what happens. Okay, so let me just comment this one. We don't need this anymore. So how does this work? So value over here in our first function, there are no parameters. So it is going to assume value is equal to 10, the default value. And over here, bonus is equal to 10 times 0.1, which is one. So 10 plus one, 11. There you go, 11. Now, when you specify a single argument, value is going to be 20. So 20 times 0.1 is two. So 20 plus two is 22. And third one, 
20 comma 30 so it is going to take 20 and 30 so 50 nothing changes here so what I wanted to point out here is that you can take a value that is specified already as a default value so value is on the left hand side you can use this parameter to specify a default value to a parameter that occurs on the right hand side so bonus equals value times something now another thing is we can also specify variables as assignments to our parameters so let me change let per let percent bonus let percent bonus and this is going to be equal to 0 0.1 and we can change here with 0 0.1 being replaced by percent bonus so now let's save this 11 12 50 11 12 50 it's going to remain as it is and the next thing is we can also specify a function within this default so let me change this to a function arrow functions which we just learned so all this does is takes no parameters and returns 0.1 so let me change percent bonus to a function call and save this 11 12 50 11 12 50 so you can use variables while assigning default values to parameters and you can use functions when assigning default values to parameters now what about the arguments object so let's console.log arguments dot length so let's save this and have a look at our output concentrate on 0 1 and 2 so over here for our get value when we don't specify a parameter arguments dot length is 0 over here it is 1 over here it is 2 so it only takes into consideration the number of parameters passed and it is going to ignore any default values so default values are not going to be considered as part of the argument list only the parameter when you call the function if you specify it it is going to be present and finally what we can do with defaults is assign a value that is declared towards its right side so i cannot assign bonus to value so value is equal to bonus and this i can just change it to 10 now this is not going to work because there's no look ahead so value does not know or at this point of time we do not know what the value of bonus is and hence we cannot assign this to the parameter value so that brings us to the end of this topic thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one